I could have an NG Connect program. We want uh, for us it was important to show three things. It was infotainment, entertainment, security, and safety. So, for example, the screen for the driver is not working as soon as the car is driven. So it's frozen um, for the video streaming, only working with navigation, vehicle function, and communication. Yeah. These are working. For the vehicle functions, the sensors of the car will be shown in one application. For example, the fuel level. Now you see we have a very low pinch of pressure and you have a rental car and you need more information to fill it up. The car shows you. There it is. It's all internal, we do need no LTE for this one. But if you have a back, bit of bigger issue, for example, broken brakes. So does Octolus design the software for the... No, the software is developed by QNX. Right, okay. It's a partner from this program. Right, okay. We have more than 38 partners, I think. Mm -hmm. And... This is developed from the QNX, Algetalusen is the infrastructure partner, Toyota the car, okay, and Capillion provides us um, game contents, Jumbies, Jumbie channel, Node Village, and, yeah, and we have more partners, <laughs> too, much, too many things. So, if you have a problem with the brakes, you got the message from the system, be careful if you have broken brakes, please drive to the next Toyota store. Mm -hmm. And the next Toyota still have the message. The car will arrive in 10 minutes with broken brakes. Please prepare the material. Or service booking. It's connected with your, mobile, with your calendar and the calendar of the next Toyota store, favorite store, what do you prefer. And then you can make an appointment if you want. Third condition, the car will communicate between car to car communication. Car to car to car. So, for example, you're driving over icy space, the sensors recognize it and send it into the cloud. And everybody has the information okay. that there's an icy space on the highway, for example. Okay, so all of the, all of the cars that are equipped with this system are, are going to be contributing to a kind of cloud-based information system? Yes. It's just like a social network for cars. <laughs> so, or you're <clears throat> driving in front of a traffic jam. And you want to see what happened in front of the driving a traffic jam. You want to see what is in front, what is the reason why we have the traffic jam. Let's connect to a cam. The moment we are connecting to the cam behind the mirror. Wow. And streaming is from the other cars. That in the future we can connect into other cars. Mm -hmm. But the driver has to approve, yes, share my cam. We have also the normal communication connected by Bluetooth with your mobile phone. Mm -hmm. Gaming. You can play games from screen to screen. You can play games from car to car. You can play games from car to somebody who's sitting in the web at home, for example. These are provided from the partners, Cavillian. And you see it's at the moment games really for kids. Mm. Something to keep the kids quiet in the back. Yeah, for example, it's possible. We have four screens in the car. <laughs> so, navigation. If you want to drive to the dinner, for example, with your family, mm -hmm. and you need more information about a restaurant, for example, the Kaiko. Yeah. Let's go to the web. Now you see it's fast event access, and you have some information about this restaurant. Mm -hmm. So it's a web information. If it's possible, I can reserve a table, for example. So this is also possible with other um, applications or points of interest. So does, does the uh, system have like in-car Wi-Fi as well, so you could yes. connect to a laptop? Yes, okay. it is also possible. I'm connected, um, at the moment I'm connected. So you've got like a, a mini base station in the car? Mm, no, we have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we have, we have, we have, we have, we have at the moment a Wi-Fi hotspot. Right. And we have um, a normal LTE modem yeah. to get out. Okay. So we get through the Wi-Fi hotspot, through LTE, mm -hmm. out to the web. Okay. Entertainment, video streaming. We can stream four different movies on each screen or on the same screen. In HD quality. Now you see we have two different. If you want, it's also possible to do it in the back at the same time. Okay. So you, so you have uh, headphones lost. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, what well, <laughs> For the passengers. Yeah. Because the drivers should not have headsets. Also, security, oh, no, no, safety course. aspects. And then we said the driver gets the sound system in the car. Yeah. And the passengers get the system from the headphones. Okay. Brilliant. Audio streaming, audio demand, internet radio, Pandora partner, YouTube. You can be streaming YouTube every time mm -hmm. from the web.
Again, if you want to see a search other movie, it's also possible. This is full YouTube, real YouTube. And we have also the internet application. For example, your sit kids sitting in the back, yeah. and they need new games because the games are, in his interpreters are boring. And let's go to Qster, install application. Now I have a new game in my car. I can play the game. Has it got Twitter? Does it? Does your car automatically tweet where you're driving? Uh, at the moment, not. But we are working to integrate more applications. Yeah. <coughs> so we have the Twitter, Facebook. We want to integrate, I suppose. Mm -hmm. But the direct integration, just like in the YouTube. Yeah. Uh, what we also have is home control. Okay. There you, for, for example, you drive to the shopping mall to and the wife forgot to switch the iron off. It's no problem the car. We can do it from here. We are working on it with our partner Intermec. Right. Or you want to, you the, the bell is ringing at home and you want to see who is in front of your door. Let's go to the cam. Now I'm connecting to the cam in the right corner of the room. Okay. So I can stream it live. So I can see for example the postman. Or you can say to the postman, please go to the garage. Our garage will open you the door. Or possible. So this is our wow, it's very futuristic. Not really. It's, it's, it's working. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, the uh, the home control thing kind of suggests that you're going to have a, an internet connected home as well. So I, I think yeah, it's connected home. So okay, this this isn't a commercially available car, or, or is it? At the moment, it's a proof of concept car. Okay, right. Um, do you have plans with Toyota to, to actually generate, create something that will be commercially available? Um, at the moment, not. But if, because because LTE is not the role at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So um, we are waiting on it, and then I think in three years, it's possible that some of these applications are in some cars mm -hmm. from Toyota. Yeah. It's the third one. We have two in America. And one in Europe, and the next one will be in Shanghai. Right. So we have then four connected cars. Yeah. Okay.